It's the middle of the day in the height of summer and 40 degrees. The reptiles are out. For some reason, I have always felt a deep affinity with these trees. Most of the year they're smooth barked and grey. Before the fire, ten years ago, they would all shed their bark in late December. This was a spectacular coordinated event that I called the Great Shedding. Over about ten days, they would emerge bright yellow, revealing new scribbles. The scribbles were due to to a remarkable symbiotic relationship with a small moth called Ogmagraptus. But for the past two years, there have been no scribbles on any of the trees. This year the shedding's quite late, it's mid-February. But I'm delighted to report that Ogmagraptus is back, if only on these very old trees. The female lays its eggs in a crevice when the egg hatches, the larva tunnels into the bark and starts to make a track. At this point, it's, it's starting to grow. The track gets thicker, does quite a wide-ranging loop, and then zigzags. It makes a complete turn. Follows the track parallel, eating the callus that the tree has, has created in response to the tunneling and follows the track back and, and then turns again and at this point it's got legs leaves the bark, climbs down into the leaf litter spins a cocoon and hatches as a moth of course all of it is hidden and not revealed until the next year's shedding All of this timber stuff, impossible without my son Jeff. Timber. Tranquility. It's lovely, yeah. Mm -hmm.